guys, we are here today to talk to you about our September sewing plans. Mm -hmm. So if you remember, August was the first time that we made a sewing plans video mm -hmm. and we each were a little bit hesitant because we feel like we're a little bit non-committal, mm -hmm. someone more so than another person, <laughs> and that committing to this was going to be a really disappointment to everyone because we wouldn't end up making anything. Well, yeah. we're happy to report that each of us stuck to our guns mm -hmm. and made two of the three things that we said we were going to make, albeit yeah. one of the two of Abby's, she did end up using a different fabric. But I still set up the pattern. But she did so still partial make credit. the pattern. <laughs> yes. So we are back again to do this again. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And I was happy to, I don't know, it felt like, it, it felt, felt like, like, I, like an accomplishment. That's yeah. Like, like when I finished it, I was it. like, I said I was going to do this and, and I did. did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, so that was really cool. Um, it, did you post any of yours to Instagram? I pretty much post all of my finished makes to Instagram. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. Yeah, mine are on there. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I posted any of mine up there for some reason. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, she's really sad about that. She's really sad about that. Um, anyways, if you want to see them, um, let me know, and we'll post them to the Inside the Hem Instagram page. Yeah. Maybe that's what we should do. Post yeah, them there. try to do that. Cute yeah. idea. Okay, anyways. So, for September, keep in mind, for some of you out there in the world, it may have gotten cooler where you live. Because you have a season called fall. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't have that. No. We Our fall comes, honestly, November. November, yeah. And really, I don't know. I mean, it's still like upper 70s. Yeah. I mean, we can wear what most people would consider like layering, light layers. Mm -hmm. All of the months of fall and winter and spring except for like January and February. Yeah. That's really the only time where it's like, okay, you gotta put a coat on yeah. and some gloves, but really any other time than that, it is, you know, fall or spring like weather. Mm -hmm. So it's still really hot here. Today, the heat index was 105, I think, something yeah. like that. It, it all starts to run together. Yeah. It's time of year. Right, exactly. So a lot of our ideas for September may still be summery. Yeah. And I just wanna, share that it's because we yeah. it's still summer yeah and also where we live people wear a lot more color than yeah. other places so yeah. it might also just seem more summery because of the colors that yeah. we wear true especially me i wear lots yeah of colors yeah so anyways yeah. so why don't you kick off then okay so of course if you're ever on any type of social media then you know that rifle paper company came out with um a fabric collaboration with cotton and steel i love rifle paper company that's my phone i know a lot of people comment on my phone in my in my selfies in my instagram it is rifle paper company i don't know if you can see it, it looks like a lot of glare um but i love them so i was so excited about um the fabric release I already have a top cut out I'm working on right now out of one of the rayons. Um, so I hope to have that before August ends. And for September, I want to sew up something with the birds. <laughs> the birds. The birds. <laughs> it's like a really pretty lilac color and the birds are eating fish. And it's a really nice rayon yeah. fabric. I am going to make the True Bias Ogden cami. I've already made one. It's on my Instagram. I posted it. I made it out of um, a, sham, a rayon chambray, and I did a little ruffle peplum thing because that's always what I do. I love ruffles, peplums, um, my kind of thing. So I think I'm going to do the same thing for this one, I think, um, instead of just the straight. I think it's so funky anyways. Why not? Yeah, and it looks Funked like the birds more. that we have here, the little egrets with yeah. the long legs and yes, the marshes. Exactly. It's all to be perfect. Yeah. And I think it'll be so cute just with like a cardigan over it for work, like maybe maybe or I'm really excited about it. Yeah, it's Love really it. cute. Really, yeah. really cute. Okay, my first one is a um okay. So if you are similar in age to Abby and me, you may remember an MTV show called The Hills. Obsessed with it. I didn't it. watch it. You didn't watch I it? I wasn't big as MTV as a kid. This was mm -hmm. like when we were away in college. Still. Still no. Well, <laughs> I loved that show. And Lauren Conrad, who was like the narrator slash star of the show, still has remained kind of like a style inspiration for me. I love her clothing line at Kohl's. I love her kind of like higher end line. Mm -hmm. I just like 
all of the stuff that she does, like what she wears personally. So they did a reunion, a 10 year reunion that she hosted and they kind of went back and talked about, you know, where everybody's doing now and kind of like some of the not so real things. And during that show, she wore a top that I wanted to make. It was um, one of those off the shoulder tops that everybody's into, mm -hmm. had more of a paper bag detail to it at the top shoulder, a little short sleeve, and then just, you know, a, a straight boxy bottom. And it was a blush color. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, wow, God, wouldn't it be nice if I could find some blush colored tinsel? That would mm -hmm. be the perfect fabric. And I kid you not, at the end of that week, Indy So sends out an email, check out our fabric collection mm -hmm. with this blush tinsel in it. So my idea is to make that off the shoulder thing. And I'm going to be honest, I have been pretty much detesting making an off the shoulder top all summer long. One, because I'm worried it's not going to be flattering. And two, because I feel like it's a flash in the pan trend that's not going to stick around. And three, I don't know how practical it is to wear that. Like, does it come up? I've seen, I watch people. It does come up. It rides up. <laughs> yeah. And so, okay. So for those three reasons, I have really resisted making one of those, but seeing hers and it was so cute and I really love her and hers wasn't coming up and hers was really flattering. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe I can figure out a way to, to make it work. So that is the plan for this. If I don't make that, then I mean, this could be a zillion different yeah. cute tops. It's a with, big commitment to, so you're iffy on it. I am so iffy. beautiful. I got the same thing yeah. too. I have no idea what I'm making with it. <laughs> yeah, it is really pretty, but I think that I will for sure make something out of this. Mm -hmm. My original plan, the reason I got it was to make that top. Yeah. Um, so if I decide against it for, I think three pretty good reasons. Mm -hmm not totally irrational or delusional. Well, you said the same thing to me because I actually made one um, using Megan Nielsen did a free tutorial. Uh -huh. you know, my, yes. I made a blushy color one. I think I chose the wrong type of fabric <laughs> for it. Um, but Lindsay said the same thing to me. She's like, don't worry about it. It'll, it's just this season because I wasn't loving it. Yeah. Um, but I think I wasn't loving it because loving it it's not as drapey as right. this fabric. But right. So. So we'll see. This is this will be a little bit of a mystery for everyone. Yeah. But this, I think, will get sewn. I love this so yeah, much. Yeah, it's amazing. Yep. Very cool. So next thing I have here. Well, I've got three things because I I know one of these will become what I'm planning. But <laughs> and you're just saying just I'm being know. indecisive three. and noncommittal. <laughs> Maybe we're really not so good at this after <laughs> all. Um, anyway. I think we're trying to do it, but also leave like leave a lot of room. Room. <laughs> Yeah. So I just got the um, Lou box top and baseball skirt from So DIY. I've had uh, those two patterns on my wish list for a while, so I just got them from Indie So recently. Figured right now is the time, the last time I have to sew it before it's too late to sew them. So I've got three fabrics that I all think would be good for the baseball skirt. Um, I just I can't. I'm not sure. <laughs> this one is also from the Rifle Paper Company release. It's the lawn. It's the flamingos. I kind of think it'd be cute as the baseball skirt, but I'm torn because I, I'm afraid that on my bottom half, I know this is going to wrinkle. And, and it's see-through. Well, I would line it for sure. Line it with white. Okay. Um, but I'm afraid it's going to look like a wrinkly mess from sitting. And white, I feel like just white shows wrinkles. Like they okay. really stand out. So, but if not, I don't know. What should I do? No, with yeah, it? I want to eliminate that as the skirt and say that that needs to be. Do you have enough of it for a dress? I bought a yard and a half, and it's only like 44 oh. inch wide. Yeah. I bought it to make Fifi pajamas, the Tilly and Buttons Fifi pajamas, but I just love it so much. I feel like it needs to be seen by the world and not just the inside of our house. <laughs> That's too bad because it is really cute for the pajamas. It would be perfect for Fifi. Well, I could just make Fifi and buy some more. There you go. I love that idea. I could do it. Let's do that. <laughs> that way I don't have to stress over it because it's amazing. And I think it'd be really cute as some type of, yeah. I don't know, something else. I love my Phoebe. I made it out of a rayon chalet. Yeah. And I, I really love it. Yeah. She did a really good yeah. job. Yeah. It's cute. So here's the other two options. Um, this is a Liberty lawn I got on fabric.com on clearance. It was like $17 a yard. It was like half off. And so I great. love it. Yeah, me too. Um, so that's a possibility, but would also look good as a top. So I'm torn once again. 
Um, this would just be perfect. So maybe yeah, it's that's, gonna be this that's one. Yeah, that's it. It's gotta be that one. This is a like um, cotton dobby, um, he a little heavier weight. Mm -hmm. So I think it'd be super cute. That's the one. Yeah. So that's probably what The I'm only doing. reason I would say not that one is because you do have a lot of skirts in this. I have two. Is that a lot? No. Are you sure you only have two? I only have two. The rest are dresses. The Tilly one? Mm hmm. And then the lace hat came out. Oh, I feel like it was more. Okay, then no, I have no objections. Yes. <laughs> I have no objections to that. Okay. I think that this lawn would be a really pretty Hey June Biscayne. I don't think I have enough. I think I only bought a yard of it. Because I, when I bought it, I was like, this is going to be the baseball skirt. And you only need a yard for that skirt. You should know by now that you shouldn't know. But then if Pigeon. I buy more and I need it for a project that's less, I won't use it because I'm like, but I have a yard and a half. I could make something that needs more yardage. I don't want to waste on this project that only needs a yard. Wow. I'm very Okay, complicated. so it's like damned if you do and damned I, if you exactly. don't. Exactly. Okay, well, that's... That's my own thing. Problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so well, speaking of problems with yardage, okay, so a few months ago, several months ago, maybe six or so more months ago, Elliot Beerman was doing a contest on Instagram where you just had to like repost their mm -hmm. post and follow them. It was one of those simple ones. And you could win free fabric. And I won. I couldn't nice. believe it. I was so excited. <laughs> um, my Actually, my Hey June Biscayne blouse that I made came from the fabric that I won from them. And this is another one. Um, it is, I'm guessing, I don't know much about it, but I'm guessing it's a rayon or some kind Feels of... like it. Yeah, some it's kind really of... It's nice. But it's chalet like to me. Yeah. But I only have a yard and a half of it. So, just like, Sunny, Sunny, come. But I only have a yard and a half, yard and a half of it, and just like Abby said, I don't want to use it for a project that only calls for a yard. I want to try and squeeze out a dress mm -hmm. out of this. So I posted to my Instagram. I need a basic dress with a cinched in waist and like an extended cap sleeve, and a few people suggested the staple dress. So I think that this might become a staple dress. Yeah, cute. If not, I shouldn't give you another suggestion. I'll throw you off. But I was able to squeeze a Roscoe blouse out of a yard and half of fabric. Which one's the Roscoe? That's the peasant one with the drawstring. I had to shorten it a little bit, but I needed to shorten it. So yeah. Peasant mm -hmm. could be cute. Could be cute. Or itch to stitch. With the collar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking at that one today. Somebody posted it on Instagram. What's that one called? Click on that. It's to stitch, you know, with the little mandarin ruffle collar. Yeah. Okay. Mila. So, Mila. Ma Mila? No. Self? Really? I don't, I don't think so. Either, either way, <laughs> it looks like I'm in the same predicament with this. Is it's either gonna be a staple dress, or it's gonna be a peasant y ruffly type mm -hmm. of top. <laughs> I feel like. Uh -oh. I'm doing we so bad doing at this. more damage to ourselves than good yeah. for this one. <laughs> but I don't know. It, I still feel like it needs to be a dress. I it's going to be the staple dress. It's going to be amazing. You're sticking it's, with it? I'm going to stick with the staple dress. Final answer. Well, you'll be done with it in a couple hours. So. <laughs> okay. That's, that's good, too. Quick sew. Okay. So Speaking of that, quick sew. This is Yeah. I hope. I don't know. So um, I mentioned I've got the um, blue box top. And I'm working on one now, and I know it's going to be amazing. I can already tell, and just by all the pictures I've seen. So I got um, these. I've been eyeing these. I was going to say birds. you didn't already have the. Yeah, no, I eyed them both. forever. Yeah. Um, all the way back to when I did the um, swatch video from Style Maker's spring release. I kept eyeing that fabric. I love these birds. I love these birds. I guess what held me back is because I had just made a bird top, the Roscoe yeah. Yeah. Um, bird top. So I'm like, oh, more birds. But these birds are so different. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been a few months. Exactly. Um, so I ended up getting them. I just gave in finally and got them. But I thought they'd be really cute as the Lou Box top. Yeah. I mean, it's a sheer fabric, so obviously trickier to sew. The Lou Box top It's like, you know, four seams. Yeah, no darts. Yeah. Um, so easy to sew. And it's funny, in her directions, she actually does a lot of tricks that I do when I'm cheating. Oh. Especially with like trickier fabrics. Like, 
sewing your hems flat before right. you sew up your side seams. I do that a lot. That's a big cheat of mine, yeah. especially with a tricky fabric because to turn it twice yeah. when it's already that little sleeve. Ugh. Ugh. So it's, I thought it was kind of funny that she uses a lot of my tricks. Does it validate you a little bit? It does. It makes <laughs> me feel less guilty. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she is saying for beginners to do them, so. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it really, like, you're better than that. <laughs> I know. I should be doing it the more advanced way, but I don't know. I mean, I sew so much. Sometimes I need to be a little fat so I can get yeah. done. Um, so I think it's going to be great. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, be perfect. perfect. Yeah. going to be perfect. Excited about that. And even though that. it's white, you'll still get somewhere else. Yeah, well, it. I can even pop a cardigan over it and wear it with, like, darker colored pants to make it more go into the fall. Yeah. Winter. True. So. Okay, that. so my last one is actually a paisley peach skin. Let me show you the right side of it. From also from Style Maker Fabrics, and I don't know when I saw this, I initially thought of the True Bias Colfax. Colfax. Um, but I was like, I really want to do the placket out of a contrast, so mm -hmm. I snipped um, a swatch, took it to Joann's, and tried to find either a coral or a navy that mm -hmm. would match this. And yeah. it was, like, beyond atrocious. Yeah. Like, the options that they have were either their, like, whatever those, like, pageanty type of fabrics mm -hmm. that they have there, which they were too heavy, too shiny, too cheap, too gross. And they didn't color match very well either. And they yeah. didn't have any navy peach skin mm -hmm. i had found a black peach skin there once um and so thought maybe they might have more than one they didn't have anything in their poly section they had nothing so when i couldn't find a match for it at joann's i started thinking about something else that i can make with it and so i was thinking about the um oh god the blank slate pattern um that i just made the Lairlin? The Lairlin. Yeah, I thought that would be cute. Mm -hmm, that would be um, cute. Or the Willow dress, the mm -hmm. Willow tank dress. Um, something that still has that A-line mm -hmm. shape, um, but without the placket. Well, you could do the Colfax still, but you could just treat it, um, like instead of making it a visible, visible placket, go to the inside. That's part of the instructions? We would just reverse it. You would sew it to the front, but then you'd have the top. You'd see the top stitching around it. Yeah, but I think that'd be a, it'd be a fine detail. What do y'all think? Because I actually, I've actually made my mom a similar kind of tunic. I forget what the name of the designer is. Anyways, but it's that's how it's made. That's how you make that placket, and it's the stitching, and you see, just nice stitching. You know what? It might end up being, and it's not going to happen in September. Is the tunic bible is coming out? <gasps> And they have that ruffle neckline version. Oh, I love ruffle. Shouldn't it be that? That could be really cute. Okay. What just happened So here? basically, I have failed. I have failed miserably <laughs> this entire video. I'm going to do good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, anyway. That's okay. I feel like you just got all kinds of ideas, though. Like Clarified it for myself yeah. a little bit more. Why don't I? Hold on. Two seconds. Okay. I will be successful in turning this that I got from, guess where, uh, Joanne's clearance section, <laughs> into a loo box top. Hey, hey. Okay? How's that? It needs a yard if it's 55 inch wide. You have yeah, enough? I think I have two mm. of them. Perfect. I have oh, two. Oh, that'd be cute. Want to be cute? With those pants. Yeah, and it'd be cute tucked into a skirt, tucked mm -hmm. into black pants. I have black culottes. Yes. There's your plan. Okay, so I have committed to one thing. <laughs> one, committed fully to one thing. <laughs> Although it could be a cute dress. No, don't do it. It could be though. <laughs> it could be though. Oh. I'm an enabler. <laughs> I have a sewcation coming up the week of um, Labor Day, so next week. So I'll be able to get a bunch that's done. That's yeah. exciting. Lucky yeah. You. So that's what we have. Mm -hmm. we're, that's what we're planning to make for September. I'm excited to share what we end up deciding with you guys. I know. This is a bit of a wild card. Yeah, either way, I think it'll be great. So, mm -hmm. I hope you have enjoyed mm -hmm. watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe to our channel too so you never miss an upload. And sorry if you can hear Piper crying, it's dinner time. <laughs> of course, follow us on all social media at Inside the Hem to see what we're up to. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Piper!